Cancer is a life-threatening disease. A disease whose name itself instills fear into lives. This fear turns into reality for over 11 lakh people in India every year who are diagnosed with cancer. According to a Planning Commission report, about 28 lakh people have cancer at any point of time and 5 lakh die of the disease each year. According to the WHO, every year 1.45 lakh women are diagnosed with breast cancer in India. When my brother was a few years old, I went to the hospital and I found out that it was cancer. So we all got out of our family, where did we get out of so much money? Apart from the fact that cancer is a life-threatening disease, what makes it even more daunting is the fact that a majority of the patients cannot afford the cost of his treatment. With the costs for a minimum treatment of 6 months, starting from 2.5 lakh rupees and going up to 20 lakh rupees. Further adding to the problem is the fact that the cancer drug market is highly unregulated, with drugs being sold at very high prices as compared to their production costs. The impact of this is extremely detrimental as more than 50% of the patients stop visiting hospitals after two or three cycles of chemotherapy due to the extremely high treatment costs. For getting better outcome in cancer treatment, we essentially need three things. Number one, availability of the cancer facility and the doctors. Number two, availability of the treatment and most importantly, the fact that the treatment should be affordable to the majority. Cancer patients and their families spend their lives today hoping for a blessing. And that blessing has now arrived. A blessing that will make the lives of cancer patients and their families so much easier. A blessing that will be a lifesaver, an elixir known as Amrit. Affordable medicines and reliable implants for treatment. Amrit is an initiative by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare established in the All India Institute of Medical Sciences to exclusively dispense cancer and cardiovascular drugs through a pharmacy. The aim of the Amrit initiative is to regulate the supply and price of cancer and cardiovascular drugs and interventional cardiology implants with the objective of providing the highest quality, affordable treatment and reducing the financial burden of the patient. As of now, Amrit is capable of dispensing 195 oncology drugs, 186 cardiovascular drugs and 148 cardiac implants. These medicines and implants are made available to all patients of AIMS and outside who have valid prescriptions. The ministry's public sector undertaking, HLL Life Care Limited, has been nominated as the nodal agency for implementing the scheme across the country. For the Amrit initiative, HLL will construct, renovate, furnish, open or built up space provided by the hospital, dispense quality drugs at affordable price, place qualified pharmacists at the pharmacy, obtain regulatory clearances for Amrit Pharmacy, manage and run Amrit Pharmacy at the hospital, share the price list of the drugs periodically with the hospital administration. With a glorious history that comprises of several revolutionary campaigns, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare's new initiative, Amrit, was always bound to be a success. Amrit aane ke baad, poore saare marijon ko affordable rate mein cancer patients ki medicine mil sakte hain. So this facilities which is adding to the government's effort or our AIMS effort in providing medicine is a very laudable effort and I'm sure it will go a long way in helping our patients. Amrit is a testament to the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare's commitment towards making the highest quality medicines accessible across India. An aim that will be realized in the coming years through this initiative, which in the true sense of the word is Amrit for this country.